and now it's bleeding again. Fuck. Hi guys, it's Murray Mint. Um, how is everyone? Hope everyone's had a great week, great weekend. Do me a favour, if you're um, watching this video and you've never subscribed, please can you subscribe? Because, I mean, I would really appreciate it. Oof. Actually, that I've cut myself um, on a baked bean can. I know. Oh, and now it's bleeding again. Fuck. Wait there. <gasps> oh my god, I'm gonna bleed to death. Do you think, oh my god, I think it needs a stitch. <gasps> now, I did just put a corn plaster on that. And that's what's happened. So I don't know what... I've done, but I'm having some sort of reaction. Now, I don't have anything suitable. The only thing suitable is that, to put my finger in, but I don't think it's... Wrap it up before you whack it up. Um, uh. Right, I'm just going to have to get something. Oh, there's... Oh, oh. Oh, there's a tower. Oh, help. Help, I'm bleeding to death. Fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'll phone one 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 later because um oh, that looks can you is it I'll put it in there so it zooms in. Yeah, I'm not putting my finger up. I'm actually I've cut myself. Anyway, that wasn't what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about what an amazing week I've had. Many of you know I've been going to university and I have been um, challenging. Oh fuck, I'm still bleeding with it. <laughs> Fucking hell. <gasps> oh my god, I think I've lost about four pints of blood. Oh, god. <laughs> I haven't bled this much since I bloody opened a tin of corned beef. Oh, I mean, these are my tools for work. Jesus. Oh. Say it's risky business cooking. Don't know why why people do it. Anyway, so I've been going to uh, university, as you know. I keep banging on about it, but it's very um, important to me because I, if you don't know it or if you've been following me channel, I'm still bleeding. You will notice as I've spoke about fear, about anxiety, um, depression. Um, I've had all of them, um, and it's quite, from where I came from to where I am now, you wouldn't believe the difference. This week, I managed to get on a stage, um, I didn't have a big part, um, we did The Crucible. The Crucible um, is a play written by Arthur Miller, um, who was married to Marilyn Monroe, I'm sure lots of you know who he is. Um, if I'm looking down, it's because I'm bleeding to death, but don't worry. Um, it will be vlogged. I will be vlogging me bleeding to death. So that'll be nice. So Arthur Miller, he wrote this play, The Crucible. Not the most jolliest of plays, I must admit. Um, it's to do with the Salem witch trials. So it's like a witch hunt. Basically, what happened was these people were dancing in the woods and they got accused of witchery and there was hell on basically absolute murders and um, the village was kicking wheat off and um, giles corey abigail was running the show and um, they were being racist against um tituba who was from barbados and um, she was drinking the chicken blood so yeah it's not the most um family friendly um of plays but it was, and, and they speak very, they speak very, like, old, I, I want to say English, English, but 
to live in America, so I don't know what old American, I don't know if that's even a thing. I thought old American was like Bill Cos uh, not Cosby, oh shit. Uh, Bill Clinton, he's old and he's American, so he'll be old American. Anyway, so we did this, uh, we've been rehearsing it, and I'm not going to lie, um, because of me, well, I, I mean, me age and various things, my memory is rubbish. Sure, if it's because I haven't used it, or it's because, like, oh my god, I'm so, I, I, right, I am bleeding. <laughs> right, I'm phoning 999 in a minute. I can't cope. Right. So, um, yeah, Sheldon's here asleep, just in case anyone's interested. So Arthur Miller, yeah, wrote this cheery play and learning lines was very difficult. I've only done it, like, when I was at school and then when I did our last module, which was uh, performer training. Um, and I would love, like, I've spoke to my um, head of department about this. I would love to do, like, something that would help us learn our lines because... Um, I don't think there is, you're just expected to learn them, which is fine um, if you know how to do it, but obviously I don't, so thankfully YouTube whoop whoop, has came in useful. Um, I Not only um, YouTube friends, uh, they've came in useful, they've helped us a lot, because I'm a, I'm a singleton, um, I'm a bachelor, so I don't have anyone, the dogs really, I've, I mean I've put the script in front of them but they're just not engaging with it. So, um, you know, I give them their own parts. One was Abby, one was Mary Warren and they just really weren't taken to it. They don't, I don't think they like the play to be honest. Um, understandable. Uh, they're all about the cheer. Aren't you Shell? Aren't you all about the cheer? Oh, right, I think I've got the blood under control, so don't worry. So, it got to the point on Friday where we had to... There was two casts, because our class was very big, and what was apparent from from right th the beginning, the Thursday cast were very much seen as the better cast. It had the strongest actors um, in it. Um, and that was quite a difficult thing for, um, a, a, as a class, and that was very, it was very obvious to, and anyway, I was in the Friday, Friday cast, which would, I bet it doesn't surprise you, but I was in the Friday cast, and, uh, but you know what, the Friday cast was so, so good, we were, like, it was so like rich it was like there was all different characters and it really like it you know it, it it felt to me like a proper village like it had different you know personalities and people anyway got to the night of the so we did the run through and i didn't forget any lines i was really good and then i started to doubt myself because um our lecturer said if you do a bad run on the rehearsal you do a good run on the um, main, the proper performance. I did not do a good run on the rehearsal, so I thought, oh my God, I'm going to do a bad run on the main performance. Anyway, I didn't have that many lines, but I did kind of muck up one, um, which I was gutted about. But I, um, I'm trying not to beat myself up about it, because at the end of the day, I tried. And for me to get on the stage when I was full of fear, is just unbelievable like my battery's going to run out in a minute i'm foaming because i'm in the mood i'm in the mood for dancing for dancing oh my god i'm still bleeding <gasps> right so i feel like i've achieved something tonight this week and um, before i bleed to death i would like to just say it's going to be a year since i started vlogging in june I've been documenting the journey and I can't believe like how different things are now to what they were um, in so many ways. Um, it's pretty amazing really. 
it's pretty amazing what you can do if you want to if you can you've got a dream big and me getting on the stage and i was probably i wasn't probably i wasn't probably very good I, you know but what it has made us want is to be better to be um a better performer to get more training and also to you know the guidance that i got from the other students was like unreal like it's like you know they they want you to do well which is a nice feeling um i also done some stand up for the first time which is was terrifying like unbelievably terrifying more so it's been a very very good week it's been and in two weeks i'll be finished university for the first year i can't actually believe it but i have got a vlog of all the university for the year so you'll have to check that out i'm gonna go i'm gonna get some stitches in my finger and um see you later Thanks for um, following us. Please subscribe. There's some really funny vlogs coming up. Some really funny things. See you soon.